I'm going to talk to you about a kid's game. A kid's game you might remember if you're British like me and that game is called Snakes and Ladders. Maybe you're American and you knew it as Shoots and Ladders. It's a game of throwing a dice. Incrementally you climb up the board against your opponent and you have ladders that carry you up. If you fall on a ladder you jump 10 spaces. If you fall on a snake or hit a chute you drop 20 spaces. And one of, a lot of the work that I do with the CEOs that I work with is understanding and discovering and uncovering ladders, right? You can think about them as ladders, you can think about them as portals to the future. Now, almost certainly in your previous, in, the, in your career so far, you can think of situations where you've leapt 20 steps ahead, where you've gone two or three years into the future just by one event happening or one thing happening to you. Many examples in my life, like I met, I happened to be chatting to somebody at uh, an event 20 years ago, turned out he worked for Marriott Hotels. I started working with Marriott Hotels. It absolutely launched my early career in just happening to meet somebody in the right place and answering the right questions at the right time. Okay, Something just flipped and I just leapt two years into my future. And there's going to be many more of these in your life. This exercise is to help you, if you can look back and find these in your past, it gives you the clues is to start creating these again in your future because who wants to play an incremental game of throwing that dice going one or two spaces forward when you can jump 10 or 20 places forward just by finding a ladder so let's think about how you can find these ladders how does it work how do you find ladders well ultimately you create the conditions for success do you create the conditions for this happening so think about how that's happened to you before what situations have you created these ladders previously where have they come from in your life have they been certain people who've introduced you to other people have there been certain places you've spent your time certain networks that you've joined what are the commonalities of these areas is it certain types of individuals that you work with has it been a refresh in the c-suite and a particular advisor that you've put on a new board of directors that you've brought on certain elements in certain places will flip you forward and push you up basically by helping you find and look for ladders. And the trick that I work with the CEOs that I'm um, lucky enough to work with is we look and we build situations where these ladders are created. So we look for these magical events to happen and we make them happen rather than just hoping that they will in the future by creating the conditions for success. Good example of this. One of the CEOs that I'm working with at the moment is raising their Series A. Um, originally, they thought the Series A was going to be around million, two million. Actually, the reality is they met somebody, a VC investor who advises on this and said, no, no, your Series A needs to be 15 million, right? Absolutely blew their mind this conversation they had by meeting this VC at the right time in the right situation. And it was not a pitch situation. It was not a pitch. It was an introduction that I'd made for them on their behalf. They talked to this VC. Suddenly, boom, it opened up a whole element in their mind of, I'm not asking for enough money here in this Series A. I could ask for more. And it was just through unlocking this one conversation with this one person rather than going through the route of standing up and presenting in front of them and doing that kind of classic pitch for Series A funding. No, it was done differently. Again, what are the conditions that can create those ladders for you? What, have they been in your past? How can you create more of them in your future? Let's look for the ladders.